Ever since I've been a kid, I've always loved tricking people. <laughs> See, I, I specialize in illusions. You know, my murals are all about illusions. This guy is a longtime public artist in Columbia. I think his first piece was done in the 70s. That would have been Tunnel Vision. Since he was one of the, I mean, earliest to create sort of a new style public art in Columbia, uh, I think that's what's put him out in some prominence. He is a good painter. He, he certainly does great detail work and he is an engaging figure all himself. And I think that he engages with similar themes over and over again. So I don't think he's looking to stay anonymous. Although I think there is something about public art that makes it hard. Public art is out there and once it's sort of out in the public, it almost becomes owned by the public. And I think that people, they might know that it's by Blue Sky, but they may not look further than that and need to know who the artist is and why the artist was thinking certain things because public art just fits a different mold. So, do you know the artist Blue Sky? I do not know the artist Blue Sky. Me neither. <laughs> I'm not familiar. With, I, I know about him, but I'm not familiar with him because I, I don't. I don't study that art. I don't know the artist Blue Sky. I also don't know the artist. Blue Sky. I also don't know the artist Blue Sky. <laughs> yes, I am familiar with Blue Sky's work. I am. Matter of fact, he did a mural in my daughter's elementary school that's now my granddaughter's elementary school about 30, 25 years ago. It's still there. So I am familiar with him, absolutely. Yeah, we actually ran into him outside of Groucho's making one of his murals with five points. It's actually a mural of that, right? Yeah, it's a chain. Yeah, it's a chain. My attitude toward painting is scientific. It's, it's based on painting things to look exactly like they really look. It's a great quest because honestly, the truth is the most interesting thing in the world. Uh, he's an eccentric artist and he uh, cultivates that, which is part of his personality and I think certainly part of the appeal of Blue and his work in Columbia. Well, see, one reason, see, these are the, the chain links. Mm -hmm. One reason I'm painting these rocks so stippled is to contrast the texture of the, of the links with the uh, rocks. Also, the mural's got a lot of circular objects, you know, elliptical shapes in it. It'd be nice to have a few rectangular shapes to contrast. How long have I been painting? Yeah. Uh, since about 11 o'clock. <laughs> what in life? <laughs> in life. All my life. Even when I was a child, I painted. I think Blue is seen as a uh, accomplished artist in the public. Uh, I do believe that many of his collectors are very passionate about his work. They are passionate about him as an artist. I'm Rob Shaw. This is my uh, gallery, Rob Shaw Gallery and Framing. Tonight we are having a show for Blue Sky, big time Columbia artist. The work in this show, I would say it's worked for the last 20 years, just kind of from his private collection and uh, work, current work he's done, just work you know that he's, he's collected over the years. It's hard to say what makes Blue Sky so iconic in Columbia. He's a very interesting character. Talking to him, 
he's always he's always got a story about each painting. I mean, the, the paintings speak for themselves, but then you 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 hear some of his insights on what he did and where he was that day, and it just adds even more to it. Well, I love Blue Sky's work. He's got some amazing just talent for realism. So many people look at his work and then think that it's photographed. I love this one just because you get that old feel. The art actually gives you an emotion as opposed to it just being something real. There were a lot of artists who were very good artists who couldn't get in, in museums, you know, or in really nice galleries they couldn't get in. And so, in frustration, they just took their painting to the streets, you know, okay. and, and used the streets as a gallery. Well, that's basically what I did. Back when I first started into painting, everybody, I mean everybody, every artist, every, was doing abstract expressionism. And uh, abstract expressionism, you know what it's like. I mean, it's like, you know, it's drips and, yeah. and stuff. And no, you don't even see anything. It's just paint dribbling it down. And um, they looked down their noses at me. I mean, I, was, I painted landscapes, seascapes, birds, you know, rocks, nature. And, and what happened is they got the idea in their head that uh, abstract painting was more advanced than realistic painting. I think he cultivates an underappreciated side to his personality and feels as if he's an outsider. Um, but because of his longevity, because of the type of work he's done, he's, he's always been a sort of key figure in the development of art in Colombia. The title of the piece is Rubble Without a Cause. The chain is holding it all together. Now, what I have to do is I have to make that wall look like it's really falling apart. And that part is yet to come. When this is done, I don't want people to drive by here and say, man, that's a nice mural over there. I want them to drive by and say, oh my God, that wall's falling in. Call 911, call Hazmat, get them out here. That wall's, no, really. It, yeah, absolute realism. I know when they walk in the parking lot and get closer to it, they'll see that it's, it's painted, but that's the idea.